I've had a ton of comments on my last foreclosure video where a lot of people were talking about the impending crash, talking about how property prices in Kelowna and the central Okanagan will drop drastically. Things are going to crash. It's going to be Armageddon, they said. Now, one comment I noticed was how foreclosures are going to be up across the board and fuel the burst of the bubble that we are in. Super interesting comment. I certainly think that we need to unpack that one in this video. So that's really it. That's the big question. Will the rise in foreclosures fuel the big bust here in the central Okanagan, specifically here in Kelowna. Now, if you've tuned into the channel at all over the course of the last 18 months, you know that I'm going to have an answer for that question. But before we get into that part of the video, we need to talk about some mortgage statistics that will tie in nicely to the rest of my prognostication. Okay, I found this article posted in the Financial Post at the end of last year titled, interest rate cuts will be the story of 2024. So just a little quick history, interest rates jumped in 22 by 4% and again in 23 by 75 basis points where the BOC rate settled for much of 2023 at 5%. Now I found this article interesting because it's one of the only ones where someone is predicting a two point drop in the overnight lending rate where every other economist out there is talking about one and a half percent drop. Now, the author gives a basis for his predictions by stating the following. These predictions are based on a combination of factors, including the negative direction of the Canadian economy, Canada's interdependency with other central banks, specifically in the United States and European Union, and how the Bank of Canada has historically made rate moves. It is generally slow to make a change in direction, often starting changes later than it should have in hindsight, but it tends to move quickly once it finally makes that shift. The speed at which these rates went up is certainly a factor on the speed at which they will then come down. Having said that, we are not returning to the super low interest rate world that we found ourselves in during 2020 and 21. Now that potential 2% drop in rates plays into the foreclosure question because a lot of what people are predicting is that homeowners in the central Okanagan will not be able to afford the renewal rates and that this will fuel a crash and the rise of foreclosures. Okay, so let's dive into this, but before we do, make sure to go ahead and hit that like button, button share this video with someone that you think will help and also hit the subscribe and notification bell to be notified the next time that we upload a video to the channel. As you probably already know, mortgage rates increased at one of the most rapid rates in a generation over the last two years. We saw the Bank of Canada benchmark rate in this country go from 0.25% all the way up to 5% between January of 2022 and September of 23. And it seemed like these increases were never ending. And of course that pushed the mortgage rates up as well back in January of 22. And for most of 2021, we were seeing variable rates of the bank prime lending rate minus 1% which would have put you at an interest rate on your mortgage of 1.45%. Now, fast forward to September of the following year where that same variable prime minus product puts you at an, a mortgage interest rate of 6.2%. Now that is a massive jump of 4.75%. And in some cases, people saw their mortgage payments increase seemingly overnight by 40, 50 or 60%, meaning it was adding on hundreds, if not thousands of dollars onto that monthly mortgage payment. Now those increases happened all through 2022 where every time the BOC had an announcement, you just cringed and waited to hear how bad it was going to be. It seemed like 2023 was going to bring the same pain, but it didn't as there was only a 75 basis point increase throughout the entire year. So how will interest rates affect foreclosure rates in Kelowna and the central Okanagan? Well, if we believe the author of the article in the Financial Post and the overnight lending rate does drop two points down to 3%, we will start to see five-year fixed rates below a lot of what these buyers qualified for the year that they bought their homes. Now, as I mentioned in my January market update video, when these buyers bought in 2019 and 2020, as well as 2021, they were approved for their mortgages, not at the best posted rates, but at the stress test or mortgage qualifying rate. Now this rate is 2% above your, above your contract rate or 5.25%, whichever is higher. So if we look back into 21 in January of that year, the qualifying rate on a five-year fixed would have been 6.79% because the five-year fixed rate was at 4.79%. Now, if we look at 2020, we saw five-year fixed rates at 5.25. In 2019, they were 5.34. So those buyers, if they took those rates, would have qualified for a mortgage at a much higher rate than where we were even six months ago. Now, a lot of those fixed rates back then are very similar to where they are today. So as we roll into 2024, we will start to see mortgages renew from purchases made in 
2019. Now, interest rates should not be a factor on those renewals. Those buyers that bought in June of 2019 or later in that year will not have to renew until the BOC is deep into the rate cuts for this year. By June, we'll, we will have seen the Bank of Canada make at least four rate announcements with a very good chance that the overnight lending rate will be down from that 5% where it is today. All right, now that we're through all that mortgage data, let's get into the rest of the factors that always have a contribution to a market correction slash a collapse. All right, now some of these other factors for these those buyers in 2019 and 2020 is that property values were far less back then than they were than they are today. In fact, the benchmark price of a single family home in June of 2019 in Kelowna was $683,300. In June of 20, that same benchmark price was sitting at $722,300, an increase of about 5% year over year. Now, in order for there to be a ripe environment for an increase of foreclosures, we need a few things to be true. Number one, interest rates at the renewal period are out of reach for most people and will make renewing their mortgage completely unaffordable. All right, number two, we usually see people upside down on their mortgages, meaning that the mortgage amount is more than what the property is worth. Now, this could be happening if people are out there taking huge lines of credit and spending wildly. I mean, this could be an unknown factor that could play into this, but somewhat unlikely. All right, number three, people are losing their jobs left, right, and center, and unemployment is going higher and higher into the double digits. That would mean industry here would be shutting down and corporations leaving the city, leaving the province in droves, very similar to what happened in Alberta between 2015 and 2020. Okay, number four, there would likely be a very high percentage of, of mortgages that are high ratio insured, meaning the buyer put down less than 20% when they bought their home. Okay, so let's unpack these four points. As mentioned earlier, when those buyers from 2019 go to renew, their interest rates are going to be very similar to what they signed on for five years ago. Now, I mentioned this on the last market update video for January, but here are the mortgage stats again for Kelowna. Now, I was looking at a report from 2020 recently, and we saw that 55% of all mortgages were with a 20% down payment or more. We also saw that 15% of the buyers were high ratio insured, and that most importantly, almost 30% of buyers paid all cash, meaning that they did not have a mortgage on their home. So let's look for a second at that purchase in 2020 of the $722,300 home with a 20% down payment and a 5.34% interest rate. The mortgage at the time would have been $577,840. The pay down of the mortgage would probably be close to about 45 grand, and that would put them at a mortgage today of around 532,000. Now, if we factor in the property value in today's dollars, which is sitting at a benchmark price of $966,500, their equity position, their net equity position is sitting around 434,500 bucks. Now that's pretty far from upside down. All right, next, the unemployment rate in BC right now is about 5.8%. Kelowna is slightly lower at 5.1, although that rate did jump 1% towards the end of last year, but we are still pretty far away from jumping up to double digit territory. All right, the four main sectors of employment in Kelowna are sales and service, uh, trades and transport, uh, business, finance and administration, and then lastly, education, law, community and government services. Now, I can't find any data to suggest that the major employers in all of these industries are leaving the region or the province for that matter. The only way I see things moving towards a foreclosure rich environment here in Kelowna is if we see a massive spike in inflation and the BOC continues down their path of interest rate hikes over the course of the next 12 months, pushing the overnight lending rate to 7%, where we would see a five-year fixed rate closer to eight to 10%. Now, on top of that, there would have to be major employers leaving the region, pushing unemployment rates into the double digits. As well, those buyers that won the Kelowna equity lottery would have been using their homes as a credit card and spending their equity gains wildly. Now, the banks in Canada won't allow that to happen, but it does come down to affordability and being able to make the payments on those lines of credit. So this could potentially be, as mentioned before, the outlier. Now, if all of this comes together, then hold on to your shorts. It's going to be a bumpy ride. At the end of the day, I don't foresee the foreclosures in Kelowna and the surrounding area kicking up to a point of concern where the housing market is going to crash. The economic environment that would push foreclosures through the roof just isn't there in my opinion. But of course, what the heck do I know? I'm not an economist. I'm just a realtor with 17 years of experience and I read and research this stuff almost every day. 
Anyway, some quick advice for you. If you are coming up on a renewal, make sure that you are in contact with your mortgage broker to put together a solid plan over the course of the next six months to ensure you get the best rates and the best terms on your new mortgage going forward. Now, if you need somebody to talk to about that, let me know and I can connect you. Okay, that's all I've got for this video. If you were looking at making a move into or out of Kelowna, then we should probably talk. You can give me a call or shoot me a text to 403-827-7527. Alternatively, you can always hit me with an email, info at livelovecolona.ca. Or if you just go ahead and scroll down into the description, there is a link there that will take you directly into my calendar and you can book in with me a call, an in-person meeting or a Zoom directly into my calendar and we can go for coffee or beer, whatever you like. All right, that's all I got for you. We'll see you on the next video.